Welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Leslie Weidenmenner, and I'm here today with Representative Randy Truitt. He's a Republican from West Lafayette. Welcome, Randy. Great to be here. Thank you so much for coming. You serve on the Ways and Means Committee. I do. And which just put out a budget plan recently. Tell us about what you like about the budget plan. Well, I think there's a variety of things uh, about the budget that I think individuals should be uh, proud of. I think it's uh, from a fiscal standpoint, it's it's structurally balanced. Uh, it's showing our commitment uh, in the areas of education, uh, investing in education. We've gone through some periods of, of tough times in the area of education funding, both K-12 and higher ed. So I think we've, we've focused on that. And I think we've uh, continued to focus on the taxpayer, uh, making sure the Hoosiers come first and we have some uh, stability type items inside the budget as well. But I, I think overall it was well crafted. I thought Chairman Brown did a great job uh, on his first uh, go around on Ways and Means. And I think it's a budget that people can be proud of. One of the things you did was um, allocate more money for roads. Yes. Why was that such a priority? Well, I think that's probably, I, I, being a local government individual myself, before it was on the West Lafayette City Council, we always heard from our local municipalities, we need money for roads, we need money for roads, uh, bridges, and other infrastructure type items. So this was really the first time because of, I think, good um, uh, prudent planning in the past that we had funds available to invest in certain targeted areas. And because of that, I think roads and, and infrastructure improvements was kind of a logical uh, next step for us to do some investment. The House budget also spends more on education than Governor Mike Pence's budget did. Yes. Why did you all want to do a little more there? Well, I think that, that um, K through 12 and higher ed is so important. So if you talk about economic development, I've always said throughout my whole tenure that economic development means education. So as we're looking, whether you're talking about vocational training or whether you're talking about actual funding, uh, getting money back into the classroom, we finally had the opportunity uh, to do that um, with surplus dollars and other types of available funds. So this was an opportunity to kind of put the money where our mouth is and that's uh, talking about education. Governor Mike Pence has also proposed a 10% income tax cut. Yes. Do you think there will be room for that in the final budget? Well, I think that there's, there's, I think there is some room. Uh, I think there'll be some good discussions and dialogue, but I think the thing that was important that we talked about was we only could do so much. When you talk about everything else that we've done and all of the uh, money being pulled away, whether it's the corporate income tax, whether it's speeding up the inheritance tax, whatever it happens to be, we only can do so much if we want to keep investing in the areas that we invested. So right now, uh, it will be just a prioritization of, of these types of things. We can't do everything, just like we can't fund everything. Um, so when it comes to these cuts, um, it's going to be a, a good, good dialogue point. One of the related things that you've been working on is legislation about um, tax credits. Yes. Can you talk about that a little bit? Well, I think there's a variety, and I think that uh, Chairman Brown had a, um, a philosophy of not hearing very many tax credit bills. Some of them are hard to actually know what the economic impact of those credits are going to be. I had a variety of different uh, bills related on tax credits, some uh, veteran-related uh, uh, bills that I hope, uh, as we're coming down the pike uh, here in the second half, hopefully we'll figure out a way to get some of that uh, in the budget bill or in another bill coming over from the Senate. Uh, uh, but we'll just have to wait and see. Do you think the final budget bill will have some kind of tax cut in it? I think you'll see. Uh, I think you'll see some sort of hybrid approach in it. Again, keeping in mind the priorities, uh, and we only can do so much. So I think you'll see something uh, in that area. But we'll just have to wait and see these next uh, next couple weeks. And do you have any final priorities in these last? month or so. Well, I just think from a standpoint of continuing to work across the aisle, it's something that we've all stressed, something Speaker Bosma has, has stressed among us. So we're going to just continue to work to make Indiana the best place it can be. Thank you so much for joining My us. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. I'm Leslie me. Weidenbetter with the statehousefile.com and Comcast Newsmakers.